Okay, that was a great segment. Tony, I'm going to have us, we're going to talk to Tony a little bit. I want to expand on this. Tony, come on over here, brother. Come What's up, on over Rich? here. How's it going, my friend? Great to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, sir. Th and thanks again for all you do for us and the whole culinary community. Oh, thank you guys. You guys do a great job. So we're, we're just uh, delighted to be a part of it. Now, for somebody that maybe is tuning in and they're like, I have not heard of them. What, what was, why did you start it? Why did I start? Because I, as a home cook, was always going out for a place to find, you know, products. There was not a lot of products specialty in the barbecue community that I could go out to. I was doing a lot of shopping online, and I felt like Denver needed a spot for folks to be able to come in and touch grills, feel grills, find some good seasonings, find, you know, expertise, knowledge uh, for folks to, to talk to, to learn. Um, I wanted to, you know have a place where we could embrace barbecue community and have them and have them come in and i think that's what we're we're you know trying to create and and, and working hard to do every day well i i can tell you i've been to proud souls and uh, you did all that and more. I mean, we haven't talk, talked about the wood. How many different types of wood do you have there? How many type, different types of wood? Well, we got pecan wood, <laughs> apple wood, cherry wood, hickory, oak, mesquite. Uh, if you can name the wood, we even have grape. So a lot of folks that are hunters out there that Is like to... Grape? grape wood. Yep. Grape vine. It's actually grape vine. So a lot of hunters out there. Venison works really well. It's a nice sweet smoke. Uh, pairs really well with uh, wild game. Uh, we even sell that there. So we, we bring in all our wood. Obviously, Colorado is not a place to source wood unless you're looking for pine or yeah. <laughs> pinion or yeah. that sort of thing. But we bring it in from different parts of the country, and, and it allows people to, to pair their their proteins with a nice uh, wood that they're they're cooking on with their, with their barbecues or their smokers. It's amazing what you've got going. I've got some dear friends, uh, the corn family. Um, and they're a barbecuing. They're barbecuing nice. sons of guns. And I'm always telling them they got to go check out your place. They went over there and they were amazed. Cool. Thank you, and Rich. Now Appreciate I wanna, that. Let's, yeah. uh, for people, uh, like I said, that aren't familiar with it, where's your store at? Where's Pro Proud Souls at? 25th and Federal. We're just right up the street. We're less than a mile away from here. 25th and Federal. If you know where Santiago's in, we're, we're, we're on the west side of Federal, just right across the street from Santiago's. Uh, Fridays and Saturday mornings, Santiago's can get busy. We got a parking lot in back. We're always, we're always there, but it, it's, um, it's a lot of fun. We see so many people, which is so cool, not only from Denver Metro, but from the suburbs that will come in and, and visit us because barbecue is one of those specialty shops and people want to to learn more and and get the products they need to to do a great cook in their backyard uh, you've done a tremendous job now uh what days are you open what days and hours we're open honestly we're open seven days a week so believe it or not we we work our butts off over there we're open uh monday through saturday 10 to 6 and Sunday, 10 to 2, we close a little early on, on Sundays, but we're, I'm there almost every day of the week. Uh, Chris or Dan, uh, we got a few other guys in there that are, we're there every day, so we're, we're helping the community doing whatever we can, so. You've got an amazing business over there, and I think if, even if you went there, if, if, let's say, a vegan went there. I think you'd turn them into a carnivore. We get honestly, we get vegans in out in there all all the time. I mean, there's a lot of people in out out there that do vegetables, tofu on their grills and smokers. Um, we can help them teach that. Believe it or not, <laughs> I don't eat that much meat anymore. If I did, you know, whatever. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying, my friend. I'm trying. I'm trying. But um, vet. We don't have no problem with produce or vegetables, tofu. You can smoke. If it's a grill, you, you find a way to cook it. So we tailor all of our needs for not only the carnivores out there, for the vegans and the, and the vegetarians. We're here to help. It's amazing. If you haven't gone there, truly go there. I, I, we can talk about it forever. But in, first but, appearance but, in the Little Richard. The little, oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. welcome, Greg. Welcome. Oh, uh -oh, Greg. Yeah. Favorite is, My uh, favorite. Pellet smokers, wood smokers, um, green egg. Traeger, Yoder, what's your favorite? I'm an offset guy, so I cook on a traditional Texas-style offset. Um, we have those in the store. I've, I've run the gamut. I've got a drum smoker at home. I've got a pellet grill at home. 
I've got, I've got just about everything, but when I like to cook and I'm settling down and enjoying uh, a long cook, it's, it's on a traditional uh, offset style cooker. Are gas grills, Richie? You probably have a gas grill. Well, I burn everything. Yeah, I, I don't have the patience, unfortunately, to do what you got, what your customers do. Yeah. I wish I did, but I sure enjoy well, it. We sell gas grills too. I we sure got a great enjoy. line, Napoleon grills that are awesome. It's amazing. What great cookers, natural here. gas. We build outdoor kitchens too, so we're we, we're doing we're trying to do it all. So if you're watching, if you haven't been there, I'm telling you, go there. It will. It's beyond what your expectations can be. I mean, it's you've got shelves and shelves of rubs, sauces, everything. And you know, we've got Christmas coming up. We do have and Christmas we've got, coming uh, up. Approximately 50% of the population is male who like to barbecue. Go hook up your Christmas present here. Your favorite guy will we, love you. We would love to see you. I'm I'm there almost every day. My friend Chris will be there. Uh, Dan, we're all there to help. So come in, come in and see us, please. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Hey, take a drive. Get get on down there. Thank you. Oh, thank. You. We've got a little. Bit. Got a little bit more. What's what is um, what's a good stocking stuffer? Stocking yeah. stuffer, uh, Thermoworks, Thermopen. You know, we always talk about uh, wood and the stocking. What about coal? I mean, I, I think Greg might get some coal in his stocking, but uh, we got plenty of coal. If you you got someone like Greg in your family who needs some coal, <laughs> we could we could set you up with that too. So. <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. Uh, we, we got plenty of stocking stuffers, gift boxes, seasonings, uh, thermometers, everything you need to make your backyard uh, a cook stream. Buy local. Yeah. Buy local. Yes, sir. Yeah. And also, uh, you've competed in a barbecue competition or two, haven't you? Uh, yeah. That guy we, knows we, we, we compete a, a little bit, so. It's kind of like going to the Pope, and he, he's teaching, he's giving you Sunday school. That's that's what we've got. The Pope of Barbecue right here. I wouldn't go that far. But <laughs> I we're, would. We're doing we'll our be best. Back.